Voilà, bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Topic conversation pour aujourd'hui, bon matin. Et aujourd'hui, nous adresse incisé assez spécial. 50 ans, nous peut célébrer une organisation qui, si, mon, amène beaucoup de bénéfices de la vie. Beaucoup d'individus. Ici, c'est celle, mais au trou les mondes aussi, tout. Et pour cause un petit peu plus de sa organisation, pour cause un petit peu plus de sa célébration, ça, um, qui veut dire et qui l'importance, c'est qu'il y a pour ben, des monde qui décide pour suivre um, sa ça pas nous capable de dire sa philosophie, sa principe mm. et sa lifestyle aussi. Aujourd'hui, bon matin, dans ce studio, pas nous voulons sur Cécile, mais pas dans son capacité comme un docteur. Aujourd'hui, bon matin, euh, nous pourrons dire euh, euh, docteur Seth. Bon, bonjour, docteur, comment bonjour, ça va? Bonjour, Sylvie. Bien, merci, même. Un plaisir pour avec vous aujourd'hui, bon matin. Et aussi, euh, nous pourrons euh, aujourd'hui, bon matin, dans le studio avec nous. Uh, Sister Prather, good morning. How are you? Thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you today. Um, Dr. Seth, premièrement, peut-être, na, na demandu, um, sa l'occasion, 50 ans, um, pour de l'organisation. Premièrement, un petit peu, l'histoire sa l'organisation. Avant d'aller dans le niveau international, on nous commence le, le niveau Cécile, premièrement. Cécile, ok. Oui. Le, le côté Cécile, tu as un zen brother qui est au Japon. Et là-bas, il y a un ban de ma comaris là-bas, il apprend. Et il apprend sa, sa façon de vivre, qui amène ici Cécile. Et ici, après, il y a un ban, ban un autre groupe qui est ici. Et les autres qui font ban uh, positive thinking, ban uh, self-management, power empowerment. Et comme ça, quand tu es dit, mon ingé, il y a sens pour apprendre un peu ce qui nous fait dans l'organisation. Et yeah, Brahma Kumari, c'est une spiritual organisation, so headquarters in 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 India, right. Rajasthan. Et il part tout dans le monde, et c'est celui un man pays qui qui il il gagne représenté. Et et and, and sister, obviously, is it your first time in Seychelles, or you've been here before? I've been here before, yes. but many years back, yes. Many years back. Which which years are we talking uh, about? Approximately 2008, nine. Okay. Yeah. And and, and since you you came in yesterday afternoon. Yeah, uh, evening. Evening. Night. How's it? How is it for you when you whenever you come to the Seychelles? Oh well. Um, it's the Indian Ocean Islands, yes. a little different, yeah. but otherwise uh, it reminds me of Mauritius and many other little islands. Okay. Mm. And of course, celebrating the 50 years, what does that mean for you, especially on your spiritual journey, mm. but sharing the knowledge that you've had yes. over so many years to the um, other? I would first introduce myself that yes. I was born in Zambia, yes. brought up in Zimbabwe, and living in Kenya for 46 years. Okay. I met the Brahma Kumaris 50 years ago, and uh, I was born a Hindu, okay. not practicing so much. I was educated in a convent school, again not practicing so much. I was brought up in an African modern society. Yes. And so I was on the crossroads. When I met the Brahma Kumaris at a very young age, I understood life. Okay and its meaning and so it helped me in you know choosing what i need to do in life and 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 how easy or difficult it is i mean being young as you said of course you you as you say you you understand life but to what extent being so young do you really understand life compared to now when you look back at the age that you are now yes mm -hmm. uh you know the world offers you something else which is materialistic things yes. fashion and all these things which never touched my heart okay and when this organization explained to me what life is all about very first thing is simplicity yes that doesn't mean that you wear these white clothes and sit in a corner okay simplicity means uh, detach and loving do what you need to do okay but um, be very loving and detached but um, the value of life was very important and I understood that very young okay. and so my direction was very spiritual not materialistic not yes. scientific but spiritual. But some people would, would, would dare say that spiritualism comes, how do you differentiate it from being in a certain religion? 
Is it not a religion? Yeah. It is not a religion. Okay. Religion is organized. Just Sundays you go to church or Mondays you do rituals okay. or Tuesday you do that. It's organized. Whereas um, spirituality is connecting with your inner self, knowing yourself and then living life. Yes. So it's quite different. Yes. Religion is something as I told you, religious is um, a ritual, and in that, it is said to be religious, you definitely need to be spiritual. Yeah. But to be spiritual, you don't need to be religious. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, can we say that it's two very different worlds? Two different worlds, absolutely. If you were to look back from where you've come from, and of course your journey, Surely you've you've got the opportunity to travel the world and share oh, yes, the, yes. the message that you have with each country. What experience that you do you gather experience from these trips or is it you just sharing no, your experience? I gather a lot. Okay. So it's like serving others is something secondary. Okay. But serving myself is the first thing. And what I saw was, which maybe our world might not see, yes. is when we are in third world developing countries, I don't call that that, it is the world which calls it. Yes. They think having a big mansion and beautiful cars and expensive job mm -hmm. will fulfill their desires, which is not true. Because when I am in those worlds, the richest countries in the world, they're still lacking something. Yeah. So what is it that they, we are lacking as human beings? Uh, some are depressed, some are unhappy, suicidal, you know. Yeah. Uh, and one time somebody told me Switzerland has, um, um, please don't take me wrong, but they told me when I walked into Switzerland that they have the highest uh, you know, suicidal cases. And I said, why? Because that world is so over perfect. Delays are for seconds, not for hours and hours, you know. I said, oh, actually it should be in Africa that we should have this tendency. But Africans are so happy, happy-go-lucky. Even after four hours of delay, they're still smiling. Y you know what I'm trying yes. to say. So the quality is of not what you have. Yeah. But how you use is very important. When, when you say, I, I like how you've mentioned, there's a lot of things that we assume to be important to us in life. Mm. But when we look back, it, it, it's just we're lacking. Mm. What are some of the things you've noticed that us as human beings, as individuals, we are lacking? All right. The very first thing we are lacking is peace of mind. Okay. You know? And people are in search of that, yeah. irrespective where we are. In a developed world, underdeveloped world, rich, poor, peace of mind is yeah. lost, honestly. Yeah. Then real love, the identity of love. And that's why I'm traveling around whole of Africa with a theme, peace, love, unity, the key to success. And this is what I will be speaking about this evening, that the inner values. Yeah. So one is, uh, you know, acquired skills, which I think we're all acquiring them, but the innate values, we've lost it, I'm sorry to say. And so we are trying to look for that out there yeah. with the materialistic attainment, which doesn't work. It's a wrong key. Dr. Yes. Seth, mopu, 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 adeo isu. So, um, Peut-être ma conseil en anglais, okay. vu que nous pouvons nous, 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 nous conversations en anglais avec, yes, avec uh, a sister. Mm. How, was, how was it for you? Mm. I mean, there must have been a change, obviously, for you to want to be curious, I would say, in searching for this different lifestyle, this different principle, this different philosophy, mm. and, and changing your life completely. Mm understanding that for you and then the part where you have your friends and your family understanding the changes that are happening to you i don't know how you want to start that 
MC Pelo la. Okay. So <laughs> what I I think on my side I I was a very we say religious person. We would put it in that okay. sense. So I used to attend mass, go to all the churches, all the if there's any pilgrimage, I was on it. But then came a time where even though I was doing that, there's something missing. Mm. Something missing. So I just then met somebody who said they can't come from India, where it's very peaceful. She had a peaceful, silent retreat. That's the yeah. word she used. I said, wow, this is where I want to go. I think this was missing. Because <coughs> if, if you notice, when we used to go, we used to sit in silence. We want that silence, that, yeah. that peace, but like the sister just said, peace yeah. of mind. But still it was missing, despite all the work, all the connection, the family yeah. and everything. Something is missing. So when I met her then, I came to know the knowledge and then I came to understand, actually it's not about the, the inert values that we have lost. It's not about yeah. the peace and love from outside. Yeah. It's what I need to do within myself. So I need to understand myself that we are all souls on our journey and the soul is, the true qualities of the soul is love, peace, unity, happiness, everything is there. So this is what we've lost. So working within myself, yeah. Uh, finding those true values within myself. When I'm peaceful, automatically those around me will be peaceful. It's shared. So this it? is what I've learned, the depths. Uh, Sister Prativa, perhaps I, li I like how she brought out how her journey w was. How, where do we start? For somebody listening to us this morning, would be like, where do I start? Obviously, clearly it has to start from us as individuals. And, and what are some of the things we have to be on the lookout during that changing process because it's, it's, it's a um, big change yeah to the, many the brahma kumaris was founded 1936 yeah. in india we've got 9000 centers in 133 countries okay. and one of them is seychelles also some big some uh, small but um the activities and the offering of the courses are the same okay and so we have a seven day introductory meditation course okay. where we just take you through an hour of understanding of what this is all about yes the whole journey and then you can go out and develop and multiply and experience and all that so the basic understanding is for seven hours seven days um, course okay uh, which we offer free of charge and uh, then people start developing it and um, it's a very easy process, but a lot of determination is needed. Easy process. They say the mind, once we try to be quiet, is the time that it is the noisiest. Noisiest. Um, some people struggle to shut it off mm. and just be in that moment of meditation and the and, and the stillness and the yes. quiet and enjoying that moment. That's where we're wrong. Okay. Meditation doesn't tell you to stop the mind. Okay. It disciplines the mind. Okay. So, you know, like a, a naughty baby. Yes. If you tie the baby up in a corner, that child is not developing. Yeah. That's not how you discipline a child. Yes. You guide them. You tell them, yes. this is what you can do. This is what you should not do. Okay. Uh, you understand? Is it the concept of mind over matter? Yes. Oh, okay. And mind is like a little baby. If you tell the baby not to climb there, the baby will definitely climb. <laughs> yes. You know? So similarly, don't tell the mind what not to do. Just offer. Yes. And discipline. And you will see that's the meditation we train people in. It's called Raja Yoga Meditation. So it, there's a lot of yoga into the sessions? Yeah, not physical. Okay. Mental. Mental yeah. yoga. Yeah. So like why we do Hatha yoga mm -hmm. is to release the stress and stiffness yes. and make it healthy. Similarly, Raja Yoga meditation is an exercise of the mind. Okay. Releasing the thoughts, negativity, stre stress and focusing. So can we say the mind is the fundamental important component? Yes. yes. Dr. Seth, mm. uh, just, just for us to go in, in deeper. What, what can we expect, uh, as, as Sister Pratba has said, uh, uh, the sessions itself is free for the first seven days. Um, a, a bit of med meditation, as you said, to, to guide us into that. But 
pour être des gens qui sont nouveaux, mon mm. mon pote, pour être des gens qui sont nouveaux, qui mm. peuvent spectacler. Parce que beaucoup de fois, on a des gens qui passent là, ils mettent des sons, des voix, des autres pour qu'ils plantent noir, des autres centres, ils mettent bien. Et quand c'est des gens qui sont pourquoi on a des qui arrivent là, ils ont des petits plantes noir. Um, so speak in English, such as... <laughs> yes, I mean, I was just telling her, a lot of the time people pass by outside the center and, and there's a lot of curiosity as in what goes on in there? Because mm. the, the place is very neat and tidy and it's welcoming, but it's also sort of like you, you, you don't know whether to come in or not because a lot of people are very curious to know what happens in there. So I'm just asking her, what is to, where does one to expect during a session for a yeah. Um, first of all, we are using media because of that. Okay. <laughs> media is one thing which, you know, brings a lot of freedom to the world. Okay. And so this is one session which will open up doors for the people. Yes. But otherwise, what we do there is just the way we are conversing now, one to one, one to a group, yeah. we just share the knowledge, the understanding, and then take them to an experience. Okay. So it's very simple, really. Uh, when you walk into a doctor's uh, clinic, you don't know what you're going to expect. Yes. But you know the pain, and that takes you there yes. and keep you open. Similarly, uh, in the world, there is so much of pain and sorrow, stress and fear, yes. anxiety, you know, and we need to sort that out. Uh, the antidepressants and all that is not the solution to our problems. And so we walk into it yeah. with that openness, irrespective where you come from, any color, nationality, gender, religion, age, everybody has a right to take that benefit. Voilà, mesdames et messieurs, si moi, pour vous qui connaissez la question, peut-être que vous avez demandé, et voilà que nous gagnons l'explication, nous voyons un petit peu um, qui passait de sa santé et qui nous peut expliquer de sa santé. Um, surely, as you said, it's an open door and anyone can just come yes. at anyone. any given time. And, <laughs> yeah, the, time yeah. the timings are, yes. we open at 9 till 12 or 1 o'clock and yeah. then from 4 till 6, 6.30. 6. Depends if you call, there's a phone number, the 2534314. Yes. If you call, you get an appointment. You can come a one-to-one -one basis. Yes. It's a one hour. And it's not also continuous. You give you time to reflect, to digest what we've said, and then you come again, and then you continue. And if you like it, then you stay on. Otherwise, you continue with what you have taken. This is the, There's no there's no a must here yes. and it's more about you yourself and how you you learn about your inner true self this is what yes. i keep on saying and that was has changed me personally because i had lots of questions yes. and all my questions have been answered since i joined this organization i think a fundamental question a lot of people are looking to especially the younger generation for their mental health um despite of what we say there are a lot of negative things happening in the world but there's a lot of awakening as well where people yes. are very, very true, very, very devoted into learning who they are and exactly. how they take their journey yes. is up to them, of course, for their for, for their decision. What are some of the key advice you would give a young person or even somebody of all of any age in particular who's interested to find out who they are? Exactly. You uh, know, um, a lot of people, when they hear the word meditation, yes. They feel, no, no, I've tried, like how you just mentioned, yeah. and they get put off. Okay. I just tell them, just take one step at a time. Okay. It's very interesting. A couple of years ago, we did a project called Pause for Peace. Pause. You know, every now and then we need to pause. It's like a tortoise yes. taking out organs, you know, achieving what the tortoise wants, the food, the destination, whatever, and withdraw the organs in the shell because they're so delicate it's the safety yeah. nature gave them yeah they've got a very good common sense but we human beings don't we stretch and we stretch and we stretch to the limit when we break yeah. we call it nervous breakdowns <laughs> and tensions and depression stress you stress, stress yes. you know <laughs> so can we be like a tortoise Start your day, yeah. a little bit going inside, 
Just be in a quiet space. You don't need to do anything. Just be quiet. Step out. 30 seconds, one minute. Step out and start working. For example, if we are waiting in traffic, rather than getting uneasy with the traffic, step in, go into silence, step out and start working. If you practice that, yes. it's going to help you a lot to connect with yourself mm -hmm. rather than connecting with the outward world. And then end your day with that silence again and you will see a better life. So we start with the silence oh, yes. and, and we, we end, end with, with the, the silence. silence. Yes. That's, that's the equation. Yes. yes, It has to start and end in silence. All right. Mesdames et messieurs, voilà. Commençons la zone de l'eau notre tranquillité. Et au fini, l'eau est notre tranquillité. C'est ça qui, aujourd'hui, nous peut apprendre. Et il est important pour, quoi, pour nous, tout en général, pour nous, la santé mentale. Mais plus important pour nous, de nous découvrir dès qu'il qui nous était aujourd'hui, bon matin. What are some of the, 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 um, the expected um, um, activities that we would be expecting to, to commemorate the 50th? Okay. Uh, actually, um, you know, I've been traveling around the continent yes. and bringing the message of peace, love, unity, the key to success, yes. which I'll be speaking on this evening. Yes. But otherwise, um, anybody who invites us, we would go there. Yes. Any organization, any faith, any group, uh, we would go there and take them into a little experience of meditation. Okay. Just simple. And talk to them, chat create some enthusiasm in one's life, you know, motivational, not even a talk, yes. just motivation, you know, and um, that would help us to join hands and at least have that unity on different levels. What's, yeah. what's, the, what's the role of energy sharing That's in what all I of this? About to say. Yes, Dr. I was <laughs> about to say that actually the key thing behind all of yes. this is that we are all spiritual beings, yeah? And uh, since we are spiritual beings, we are connected. That's how we are connected. That's why despite any religion, any whatever uh, religion you may be yeah. in, we feel connected because of the spiritual you. And all of us are on the same note where we all connect with our, with our true nature, which is love, peace, positivity. We yes. love that all of us, despite what energy, whatever uh, religious group you come from or what race or what culture whatever so this is what joins us and that's the energy that is the spirituality well, I have an interesting question yes you are both wearing white is it symbolic or is it uh, part of I don't want to use the, the word rules um, a little bit about the choice of yes. color but it's actually um, it's actually of a uniform. Okay. Whatever you wear, yes. but white is the uniform. Okay. Just reminding us that whatever you have outside, yes, be like that inside. Okay. And so that simplicity, and of course purity. So simplicity means my life is for service. Yes. And not for myself constantly <laughs> taking care of it. So simple, you know, just wear this and walk out and start working. But um, it's a uniform, yes. Okay. So you won't have problems to think, do I need to, what will I wear today? This color, that color, that shoe, that Matching. it's all, <laughs> no need, all of that is gone. Mm. The see? simplicity of choice. Yes. Voilà. Bien facile, aujourd'hui, bon matin, nos conversations. Nous pouvons cause la célébration 50 ans de uh, Brahma Kumaris en Afrique. Et voilà, quand nous avons, of course, Sister Prativa qui est venue aujourd'hui pour cause un petit peu de son parcours et aussi son expérience qui peut, peut partager avec différents monde qui sont intéressés. Et même Dr. Seth aussi nous dit, nous avons senti ouvert à partir de 9h au matin, si vous avez une nouvelle information, yes. 9h au matin, c'est comme midi, et à partir de 4h jusqu'à 6h. Jusqu 6h, mon bien gagné. 4h jusqu'à 6h, quand vous êtes capable de venir, um, soit vous avez une session N avec N, ou sinon un groupe, et il prend des sources, même si vous avez n'importe quelle religion, pour venir pour découvrir un nouveau concept, une nouvelle philosophie. Et voilà, quand vous découvrez les complices, c'est pareil. Um, c'est ça, dit aussi tout. Um, Commence nous la zone, loin de notre tranquillité. Et nous finissons loin de notre tranquillité. Um, Peut-être un petit, any, any last words you would like to share 
um, with Seychelles or Yes, I would yes, like, yes, like to Seychelles. share with the people of Seychelles yes. that unity is a state of mind. Yeah. Um, peace is a state of mind. Unity is my inner harmony uh, with my own self, which then I reflect in my interaction. Okay. Uh, peace, love and unity. Love is unconditional. And the key to success is first self-introduction, who am I? And then an experience, I am just a point of light, mm -hmm. an energy a divine entity and uh, who is God doesn't matter we don't have a couple of gods God is only one energy which is again you know whatever language you want to use is mm. fine but the energy and the power we receive from him is just the same the moment I have that in me I have success success is my birthright mm. and I would like to give that wishes to the people of Seychelles. That's that, yes. Lola. I just like to add on that the key words of our team is, is love, peace and unity. And I can imagine if we all unite, if everybody comes on one page, how what a difference it will make for all of us. So just in that note, and then we'll all have success. Perhaps some people will be a little bit reluctant to come forward, to come to the centre. Yes. Are there any readings that you would encourage people to go? Of course, we have technology nowadays. It's widely accessible. Are there any books you'd like to recommend for first-timers or even just to, to share the knowledge? I really don't know about Seychelles, but <laughs> we, we have a lot of books um, in our bookshops so yes. where we can sell. And there is online one also yeah. where we recommend, uh, you know, um, the seven day meditation course. Okay. It's um, a book on that. Yeah. But we also have, um, uh, you know, soul experience and many other books. They could find it if they browse okay. online. Est-ce que les autres sont accessibles, les réseaux sociaux ou sinon website we do we do have oui. a website oui. we have an international website okay. there's online by Makumaris you can you can uh, oui. a link with and then also we have our uh, at the center we have books also that okay. if somebody's interested ah. they can come and take and then from there you have to make the first step yes everything depends <laughs> on you so oui. each one who wants to make a change you have to make the first step that's why I says take courage make the first step and the rest will come automatically. So yes, the the website is Brahma Kumaris yes. dot o r g. Okay. Yes. Brahma Kumaris dot org. Is an alo ako tu kababale po ugan yam tipe ban different latik e ban different live ki u kabab kamas u u u paku po découvrir lekelu e aussi découvrir kwa ki sa vedi Brahma Kumaris e ki ban principe filosofie ki zotan vi patas aveku. Mais plus important, pareil dit, comme on se l'a le note silence. Termine le note silence. Et ça va aider pour être capable de continuellement découvrir les kilos, comment ils sont divisés, ou quoi est important. Moto, Dr. Seth. One last thing, I just another oui. link is www.learnmeditationonline.net. Ah. Ok. That also Redon has all. www.learnmeditationonline. Oui. You write it together. Oui. Dot net. So ça aussi un autre website. This is another, another website, and then like what sister said, is www. Oui. Brahmakumaris. org. So, so ça, il s'agit yes. des websites qui sont carrément ben différents. Um, quelque chose pour pour approfondir sur connaissance, par nous dit. Second temps, un joli parcours. Um, Donc, thank you for coming this morning. Merci pour partager avec nous. Um, Sister Pratiba, thank you for coming this morning. It was an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And all the best uh, for the future and all the best for you, Mr. Dr. Seth. Thank a pleasure you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Alors, 50 ans, un grand, un petit, un grand parcours et un grand événement ici où ou intéressé pour qu'on ait un petit peu plus le Brahma Kumaris ou capable de venir avec d'autres centres d'hermitage, d'autres là. Et par exemple, dit à partir de 9h du matin jusqu'à midi, je suis ouvert. Et après 4h jusqu'à 6h, je suis ouvert. Oui, un phone number, c'est important, oui. 2534314. 2534314.
254-314-314. Ça les qu'on est capable de contacter les autres. Et voilà, on est capable de commencer un parcours, un nouveau expérience, un nouveau commencement, un nouveau changement dans la vie qui s'y met. Il y a un qui amène beaucoup d'aspects positifs dans la vie. Et là, on a dit pour où c'est si qu'on partage avec les autres. Mesdames et messieurs, ça c'était notre topic de conversation. Vous avez dit bon matin. <musique>